Hey guys, Coach Lou here again with another at-home workout for you. This is another partner workout. Let's make sure we observe good social distancing still with making sure that our partner is either mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, or a guardian. All right, here we go. Hey guys, first activity after my warm-up is I'll be in a plank position or a push-up position and my server will toss the ball to one of my hands I will go around behind that opposite arm and toss it back, alternating arms. We'll show four, okay? Notice, focusing on watching the ball all the way into my hands, watching the ball all the way around. Give it a try. Skin activity here is gonna be more of a core and coordination activity, all right? I'm gonna sit on my butt and I'm gonna rock back as the ball's tossed, catching with my eyes on the ball and bringing my opposite knee towards my chest like I'm driving for a dive. Take a look. activity here is going to be a side oblique and it's going to help with that action of a reload and we're also going to get our hands going for catching for our next activity so I'm going to start on my side like I've just dove with that knee up I'm going to rock and drive up and catch the ball from my server they could volley or toss the ball take a look Notice my eyes stay there. I don't just have my hands in front of my face. I meet the ball like in the game. Other side. Give it a try. All right guys, so now we're gonna get into some footwork handling with a ball line. Again, I have my partner. Behind me, there is a small one yard gate. You can use cones or a marker. And then from the top of that gate on an angle is a five yard cone or marker away, okay? My server is gonna be 10 to 12 yards. Mom or dad can use their feet or their hands to serve these. We're gonna do below the waist and above the waist progressions, okay? So here's our first one. We're gonna start in the second goal and we are gonna drop step crossover into the ball line below the waist and above the waist. Take a look. Little ball back. Try. All right guys, second activity in this setup. You're going to start at the white marker like you're in the central part of the goal. You're going to move like the ball is transitioned across the angle. You'll find the ball line and do below and above the waist service. Okay, we'll go show two of each. try. All right, goalkeepers, now we've flipped the grid so you can see the movement patterns on the opposite side. Okay, but now we're going to show you the diving progressions of this activity. Again, low dives to the white cone, mid-range dives to the white cone after moving and finding the ball line. Take a look. All 
Alright goalkeepers, here we are with the next progression of the diving. Okay, we're going to start on that white marker, the center of the goal, and we move across the face as the ball travels from the central to the wide channel. Okay, make sure you find the ball line, get yourself set, and adjust to the service. It can be from the feet or from the hands, depending on who's serving you. Make sure you start like you're actually in the center of the goal. Don't start facing the other way. Up to your feet, little bowl back. All right, goalkeepers, now we have a little bit of sprint work that is position specific. So think about you've made a save, now you've got to sprint to a different part of the box and then distribute. Okay, so we have markers set out at the goal line, 6 yard box, 12 yard or PK spot, and top of the 18. Think about this though, if you're sprinting to the top of the 18, you have to stop before the top of the 18. We will show a handling variation or a cross simulation from a toss. Take a look. <laughs> 